Hey guys, it's Brian from Stogie Review. It's been a minute. I'm back with another video cigar review, this time of the CAO Amazon Basin. Look at that. So the Amazon Basin, it's a uh, it's a pretty rustic looking cigar. Um, very model law, dark markings. The veins are medium in size. It's got the uh, the fun uh, wrapped tobacco band that's uh, that's smokable, and uh, this one is a little curved, but like I said, a little, little bumpy, a little rustic looking. But uh, I don't see any real issues to it. Um, yeah. Now that I've got it lit, a few uh, a few thoughts, a few notes on the flavor. Um, initially, it kind of struck me as a little kind of clean flavor. Um, it's a kind of a raisiny, syrupy sweetness with some pepper and like a light creamy uh, nuttiness. It's a little bit like a really light peanut butter, like super light. A um, little bit of wood in there. I think I said pepper. So uh, that's the, the initial impression of this cigar. So what's the deal with the, uh, the CAO Amazon Basin? So it was originally uh, introduced at the 2014 IPCPR show and it's been off the market for a while. Um, and it basically the, the thing with it is that it, it features an exotic <clears throat> tropical rainforest Amazonian tobacco called Baranca. I believe that's pronounced right. I'm not sure. I've never heard anybody actually say it. Uh, so it's organically grown on unspoiled tropical land and harvested only once every three years. Uh, let's see. Once the uh, Baranca leaves are harvested, they are put through a unique fermentation uh, process, hand rolled into tubes, and the leaves are wrapped into a thick rope where they spend six months uh, naturally fermenting. So I'm assuming that the uh, the little band here, the rope tobacco band, is uh, a reference to that. So it's been several years uh, since it's been on the market, and I read somewhere that about 2,000 boxes were produced. Um, in terms of, so the wrapper, the blend is supposed to be the same as the original. Ecuadorian Sumatra uh, wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and that's uh, Amazonian uh, Barranca uh, filler uh, make, the, make up the cigar. The uh, the size is six by fifty two and price wise you're looking at around ten twenty five MSRP though for me I wound up spending probably around eleven eleven fifty it occurred to me as I was lighting it up that I was a little surprised that this didn't have any kind of an unfinished foot or uh, shaggy foot or whatever you want to call it and as I was looking at the pictures I kind of expected to see a pigtail I don't know why it just struck me as odd that my instinct was to look for those things. So I'm a little way in and the ash is just a little, eh, a little fractured, a little, uh, little uncosmetically attractive. Uh, in terms of flavor, it's, uh, it's continuing with that really syrupy sweet, almost beyond raisiny sweetness, uh, the kind of that light peanut butter, uh, pepper, a little bit of wood. It's, uh, it's actually a really good start, so it's really continuing that so far, but we've got a long way to go. Thought I'd come back while I have a pretty good ash on this. Uh, as you can see, it's a little, uh, it's a little flaky. Um, though, as flaky as it looks, I found it was pretty strong in that uh, I tried to ash it earlier to avoid wearing it, and uh, it took a few solid taps to get it to fall off, so it's Maybe not the most attractive ash, but it's it's pretty solid. Uh, in terms of flavor, we've definitely moved away from that really syrupy, that uh, raisiny sweetness, and we're on to more of kind of like a rich cocoa. Still got that that uh, kind of creamy nuttiness to it. Uh, a little bit again, like like maybe a peanut butter, and it might be pushing it a bit. Um, yeah, it's really it's really kind of hitting it, hitting its stride right now. It's pretty tasty. Earlier on, I noted some uh, not really getting it so much now, but there was definitely like a lingering spice, like a lingering earthy spice to it that was pretty 
pretty enjoyable. Um, it's putting out a pretty good uh, volume of smoke, and uh, yeah, the burn is pretty decent. You know, not not pristine, but it's it's you know the burn line is is good. So uh, no real complaints. The draw is pretty good. So I'll just keep smoking and see where this takes us. And I'm back. I'm getting. I'm getting close to the end. I'm gonna have to wrap it up. This is a slow burning uh, cigar right here. Um, I think I've been at it for nearly two hours. I'm not really sure about that. Maybe an hour and a half, hour and forty five, something like that. But it's uh, so the burn. It's actually behaving nicer burn wise than it was earlier on. Um, flavor wise, it's still that. Uh, a lot of those really rich, rich peppery flavors, rich cocoa, a little bit of wood, a little sweet pepper. It's little bit of like an earthy spice it's I've enjoyed this more than I really expected I would honestly um, yeah I wish I could compare it to the last one that came out some years ago but unfortunately I missed that one but I think this is a good cigar I think this is definitely worth tracking down in and, and, uh, and trying and I think that uh, I think a lot of people w would agree with that and you're gonna find it's not gonna be an easy one to find for very long so uh, thanks for watching Oh yeah, one one final thought, something I forgot to bring up earlier. So you know how you can smoke through this this band, air quotes here. Uh, yes, you can, but in my experience, it's, it's a little rough going, so I usually quit the cigar right around that point just because it's hard to go through it. So take that for what it's worth. Mm, look at my fat fingers. <laughs>